What's up, guys? We are back again for another Marvel Plus Plus video. All right, uh, five star ascended angel, possibly voted the worst character in the game next to Yelena Belova. But since you're able to, I don't like, I don't know if she's in the batches yet or if she's gonna be in the next batch of ascended characters. I still think Yelena Belova is gonna be better than three star angel when she's ascended into five star land uh even though her abilities cost basically an arm and a leg um but anyways still not a good character uh i'll say this about every character that i feel is not uh event you're eventually going to put them into five star land some of the ones that you want right or some of the ones that just need to go to five star land that need to be ascended to you know, so you can, you know, have like basically an extra five star in like three star, three star land, two day PVP when those come out, like when a boosted three star, let's just say for instance, this three star angel is boosted. You have him ascended, you'll be able to use him and uh, have an advantage just because he's boosted and he could tank some kind of damage and he can stun. That's pretty much all he has. His best build is five, four, four. Um, his five star version of himself basically archangel better um they have the exact same health both at 450 which is odd because i thought this one would since it's a three star and five star line ascended i thought that it would have more but i guess not um best build 544 four. uh you're losing a you're losing a little bit of damage on both of these but you're able to use them both um how do you how do i say this uh you're able to use, you know, use them for what they are. And rather than having this one at three and dealing nothing, and this one at five, I'd rather have them both at four, uh, four, four. So this one at five is fifteen thousand damage, and then the black ability is what is it? Ten, I think twelve thousand damage at five or thirteen. I'm not too sure, but his best ability. I really wish they would rework him. Um, really an iconic character right but like just rework him please uh that's what he needs this should be at least at nine if anything if this is the only ability that you have to work with on him yet again jane foster five star thor mighty thor she's a thing this is relevant to her um so angel of attack Let's see, uh, where is it at? Deal 22,233 damage and stun the target for three turns. So you stun one character for three turns, steal damage, single target damage. Uh, green ability, you can have this one at five to throw out those strong attack tiles to give you some sort of advantage, I guess. I don't know. Um, Polaris, <laughs> just throw her in there. Um, so enemy down, 10 AP, deals 11,000. 18 damage and creates two strength 1,668 that's a green attack house at five this one is 1,500 so not too far off and aerial superiority uh at level five it's a five turn countdown two five turns countdown tiles and at level four it's two four turn and then the damage it goes from 10,000 at level four to 15,000 at level five at 15 or 14,000 uh, while an aerial superiority tile is on the board, neither team may gain AP in uh, in its color. But to complement him, I am using Iron Man Model 40. And just just for fun, I'm going to use uh, Archangel, Horseman of Death. So 5-4-4 uh, four, four as well. Um, I really wish they would just give 3-star Archangel this ability. Uh, let's see, deals 17,998 damage and destroys 3 AP in 2 random enemy AP pools. That's better than 2 attack tiles. Like, come on now, really? Nobody's ever used this character, or nobody's ever used 3 star Angel in 3 star land ever since his release. He was, he's the worst, the worst released character in Marvel Puzzle Quest next to 5 star, um, Miles, uh, Carnage Miles Morales. Actually, I take that back. Uh, you can actually use Carnage Miles Morales. Wasp. Right? So, Elena Belova, 3-star Angel, and 5-star Wasp. Worst characters in the game. They tried reworking, uh, reworking Wasp, 
still not good. Uh, supposedly there's a Winfinite with her. I tried to use it, but it's not really a Winfinite. It's more like a guaranteed win, I guess you could say. But uh, she's still not a good, not a good uh, five star. They need to rework her again, and they need to make her better. Um, they actually probably might have made her four star version even worse as well. But uh, yeah, like just you know, they're useless. I'm sorry. Uh, even boosted, I still won't use her or three star Archangel. But uh, yeah, give him this ability right here. Make it simple. Remove you know, destroy three AP in two random enemy. AP pools. That's pretty useful, right? And then uh, aerial superiority. Same thing. Seven AP, two four turn count on tiles. Uh, his best build is five four four as well. Um, and all his abilities are cheaper, obviously, because he's a five star. Deals fifteen thousand nine hundred twenty eight damage while an aerial superiority tiles on the board. Uh, the enemy, the enemy team, may not gain AP in its color. So it only pertains to the enemy team. Now this one. Let's see, neither team may gain AP in its color. Um, yeah, that's just... That's very tragic. If he's your favorite Marvel character in general, I, I apologize for him being so bad. Uh, Five-star Archangel at least has a use, right? Um, his blue ability. Uh, you're dealing 11,000 damage and stun the target for two turns. At the start of the turn, deal 11,390 damage to an, uh, to any airborne enemies and stun them for one turn. Very viable ability. I'm not saying he's top tier, but it's better than nothing. So we're just going to see what he can do. But, but like, obviously I just said what he, like I just read his abilities. Like, just even making this video is very, very it's I, I feel like I have to do it. I want to make a video of, of every character that's able to be ascended just to show you guys uh, what you're in for. Just in case you don't want to uh, ascend the character or you want to wait for another character, a better resource. Like, you know, spend your resources wisely. That's why I'm doing it, so you don't have to. All right? Wasting my resource so you don't have to waste yours. But yeah, Iron Man Model 40, we're just going to use his red. Um, simple as that. So... We got this one is Archangel. We want to use Angel's abilities. So green. Yeah, if it wasn't for Iron Man Model 40. Um I don't think three star angel would even be a thing. So we're gonna stun. I don't want him to get any damage taken. He's, d he's uh, down. Right, how much did that do? 22,000. So, um, we're going to stun Ghost Pool just because he is, he's a good 5 star. And then this, we're going to deal damage. The animations are cool, I get that. But the abilities are a no-go. So, we're going to do green. Right. And then we're gonna hit again. The damage is okay. I, honestly, I would put three star at five five three in five star land ascended because his his attack tiles can deal some kind of damage, right? They're dealing a thousand right now. They deal fifteen hundred. Um, if it was if the green was at five, and then obviously you could use a, a tile buffer as well. Match damage is not too bad. Let me check that real quick. Let me see. Yeah, he's just in the he's in the boat with Wasp, Yelena Belova. Even Bagman's better than these characters. I'm sorry. So his match damage, a thousand eight ninety one seven uh, seven eighty. Not bad. All right. So red. We'll just finish it off with Iron Man. Even Iron Man can one v two these these two characters. Like, oh my god. All right, so that, we got five. You know what? I'm going to wait and use his yellow again because uh, Ghost Pool is, uh, he still has 34,000. How much does this do? This deals 48,000. We'll do that. Oh, yeah, that's right because he got that. Um, We'll match blue. Well, now we're stuck. I should have put purple. 
yeah, no, it, it's just uh, really, I guess it's really annoying, you could say, for them to release these. Okay, we might have lost. I'm still going to upload this video, even if we lose, because 3 Star three star Angel Ascendant into 5 Star Lion does not deserve to win any matches in this game until they buff him. Okay, so I should have downed Thanos first, but Ghost Pool's kind of scary. All right, so we're literally going to have to 1v2 right now. We're going to have to 1v2 this. Uh, Ghost Pool's going to pop off right now and hopefully does not down me. I'm still uploading it. I don't care. Three-star angel does not deserve to win. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. I shouldn't even finish the match, but we're going to. We're, we're going to finish it. I don't know how I survived that. I get it. I should have downed Thanos first, but whatever. Um, yeah, three-star angel is just not. He's not. It's, don't don't ascend him unless you're already an end game player just needing a third five-star for two-day PvP for the character to be boosted. If he's boosted five, 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 three, because of his attack tiles, and use Kitty Pride Polaris, and you have yourself a team there, um, just don't bother ascending him. Even if he's your favorite character, just don't do it. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. As always, let me know what you guys think, and I catch you guys in the next one.